Hi, Dr. Sandra here from Bedford Chiropractic Clinic. In this short video, I want to talk to you about something called stiff discs. Now, what a stupid term. Um, you can't slip a disc. I don't know where that's come from. Okay, but let me explain to you what that actually sort of means. Now, this is a human spine. You've got 24 joints in here, seven in the neck, 12 in the thoracics, five in the lumbar. Now, in between each of these bones is that thing there, which is called a disc. Now that disc is really important because not only does it act like a cushioning, but also separates these facet joints from impacting on each other. And also what it does is it gives enough space for a nerve to come out, which is how the brain communicates to every muscle organ in your body. Now the discs are incredibly strong, and when the human spine is in the right position, which is a C-shape here, a C-shape here, and a C-shape there, it's incredibly strong. And they, these discs are that strong that you could put a mini on the top of a person's head. And if the spine is beautifully right, then those discs can take that pressure. So they can take any kind of external pressure. They really co will cope well with that. What they don't cope well with is this sort of pressure, this lateral rotational pressure, which is why most people will have a problem when they lift up and twist or turn. So what does that actually mean? So if we have a look at this model right here, now this is a disc of a sort of teenager. And you can see it's really nice and big and thick. Now this is a disc of a 20, 30 year old, 20 year old. And you can see how it's slowly gone down in size. It's, it's gone thinner. Now the disc looks like a donut. You've got sort of the dough around the side, you've got the jam in the center there. And it's a good way of looking at it. Now what can happen over time and also with that torsional pressure and that rotational pressure is the disc can get damaged. So when it gets damaged, it gets a little tear in the dough and then the jam starts to leak out. And as it leaks out, it can be held in the border of the dough, right? And that's called sort of a bulging disc, a bulging disc. But then unfortunately, what can happen is that it can become sort of further, it can go past the barrier and start leaking out. And that's called a herniated disc. Now the herniated disc, there's different levels of that depending on how much of it has, sort of, has leaked out. But what it does is, as you can see, it's actually sort of interfering now with the space that the nerve has to come out. And if it does that, then obviously it can cause inflammation, irritation, and it can sort of create a problem. And that is called a herniated disc. Now this is, is, is something which unfortunately is very common, uh, but also can be incredibly, incredibly uh, painful, problematic, and can um, be very, very um, uncomfortable, can cause a uh, problem for quite a while. Now here at Bedford Chiropractic Clinic, we can help. Right? We, um, over the sort of 19 years that I've been practicing, I've treated many, many patients with herniated discs. And um, I cannot guarantee a 100% success rate because it all depends on the severity of sort of the disc herniation. But certainly what you will get here is you will get a very good examination. If we have an MRI scan, then I'll be able to explain exactly what the MRI scan is showing. And we'll be able to take it from there and we will tell you, I will tell you exactly what it is that perhaps we can do to help you. So don't suffer with sciatic pain, with disc pain. Let's see what we can do. So give us a call, Dr. Sandy Bedford Chiropractic Clinic. See you soon.